space bar to stay with him. C to go around the asteroid. C around, C around, keep him in sights. Boost with him. Let my weapons charge up. Oh, space, that was my bad. I might have a problem now. I got him. All right, now let's try and hide. So this is where FPS becomes handy as well. Hey there guys and thanks for joining me today on what I suspect will be a very controversial video. Now you've seen the title of this video so you know by now what it's about and um, you probably have an opinion of your own. So before I go into this video and before you start commenting I just want to put some reference uh, to my name and just tell you where I'm coming from right. So I'm a simulation game type fan. I like racing games. I like um, uh, flying games and uh, I really appreciate the necessity to use uh, a proper joystick or steering wheel in these games you know if you play a racing game you need a steering wheel if you're playing something like uh, a World War II simulator game such as War Thunder for example which obviously I have a lot of videos on uh, on my channel about you most definitely need a joystick to be better at the game you know if you don't have a joystick you're not gonna be as good but here we are in Elite, and I've had discussions before on Reddit, and um, I've probably mentioned it in my videos already. Elite Dangerous is best played with keyboard and mouse. There, I said it. So, I want to talk to you about this, and um, by the end of the video, you, you're obviously free to uh, tell me what you think about it, what your ideas are, what your thoughts are. But first, hear me out. What I want to do is... Go over my keyboard layout. You're seeing I've got my webcam in the left top of the screen. Um, and I want to talk about how I have my game set up. And then you can just tell me what you think about it. And then, of course, I'll put some CQC combat in there just to show you that it does actually work pretty well. Now, we are at a station here because this is going to be, um, you know, one of those places where it's easily shown how well the controls work. Now, I'm using the keyboard and mouse. So for the mouse, I can't really talk about the settings and the best thing I can do is just show you them. So I'm very quickly going to go into my controls and just show you this. So I'm not using the relative mouse options, which means that my mouse does not reset. Um, here you can see the sensitivity, uh, relative mouse rate, which isn't used, uh, a little bit of dead zone, and there's no curve. And of course we have the mouse widget on. So what does that mean exactly? I'll show you in game. It means that if I turn my mouse to the left, you can see the arrow, it keeps going. If I turn it to the right, it keeps going. If I turn it up, it keeps going and down the same. Now, what you can see here is that I've got pitch on the mouse and I've got yaw on the mouse. In Elite Dangerous, yaw is a lot more important for aiming than rolling is. So putting roll on your mouse is not a wise idea. If I'm tracking a target, the nice thing about this is that I will be able to set my mouse like this and track a target super easy without having to adjust. And this is hard with a joystick because you're going to be doing this with your joystick. You look at the look at the the, the, the arrow there. You can see what I'm doing with the mouse. You're constantly going to be adjusting uh, to keep yourself right. And with, with this, you won't need to do that. You've got a lot of play. We're all used to using the mouse. So um, using the mouse is very intuitive for, for us humans. So let's take a look at the keys um, and for this you'll want to look at the uh, the webcam image in the left top. So I'm playing this game as if it is an FPS shooter. I don't use the standard controls at all. My controls are very different. I'm using WASD as if this is a shooter again. So if I press W, it only goes forward for as long as I press it. So that means that I've got really good spatial control. I can really very easily so uh, A and D is straving. I can very easily tell myself exactly where I want to be. Q and E is rolling. So what that means is if I press forward and I want to just move myself over there and roll, I just press E and there we have it. It's extremely simple and again, extremely intuitive because you're used to playing FPS games most probably. It's a very common thing, of course. So another thing that's very important, let me have a look here, is the uh, vertical movement. I use this a tremendous amount and this is best used because there's obviously a maximum pitch in the game. Pitching is faster than yawing, that's a, a very uh, uh, important thing to note. So you always want to be pitching, which means that I would press E to turn around and then pitch up. I wouldn't yaw. 
But right now, while I'm doing this, I would want to keep moving. So to do that, I would want to go down. Now, again, I do that using FPS style controls. I use C for crouch and space for jump. I guess that sounds really weird to you, but C for crouch is very intuitive. So look, let's put this in practice. I'm going to fly over there. I'm going to roll and face the station using pitch and crouch to make sure that my vertical movement is also moving so I don't stay in the same position, which is going to be great for dodging, of course. So I'm going to go forward. I'm going to roll, press C. I keep going backwards. I'm pressing backwards now as well. I let go of backwards. I keep going with the C button. And I could, if I want to just keep moving, I, would, I could boost, press space to go up again. Roll, press C to keep going backwards. S to go backwards. W to go forward again. Just to strafe a little bit using D, C, space to stop myself from uh, going vertical. So as you can see, I'm still using the C button. I use crouch a lot to keep moving while I'm pitching. And you want to do this because you need to keep your target in your view. Because if I would just do, I'm just going to show you, if I would just roll and pitch, I'm going to have trouble keeping my target in view. Now let's move on to something different. The pips. Very important. You may have actually noticed me doing it, doing it already. I do not have to take my hands off WASD to change my pips. Instead, all I have to do is press the shift key. Shift and S is reset. Shift and W is engine. A, system. D is weapons. So while I'm flying, all I'd have to do, let's say I want to put uh, full in engines, right? All I would do is shift W and that's it. Shift SS, shift DD, and it takes you such little time that you're not gonna find uh, it a problem because you're obviously not able to control your ship at that moment. But it, it's like it's like a millisecond, so it's not an issue. All right, that makes sense, right? Uh, what else do we have? We have looking around. This is a problem. For mouse controllers, this is an issue. Now, I've set it to stay. I used the Alt button to move my mouse. I would not recommend this for combat because it's it's obviously very difficult. Control button resets. So I can do that with my uh, with my pinky. That resets my key. But I don't use that uh, during combat. You, Trek IR is obviously the recommended for that. showing you again the vertical movement how important that is and how intuitive that is with uh, the FPS style controls yeah this is my setup it's probably taken me longer to explain um, than some of you guys have patience for anyway so I apologize for that I'll just jump into some C, uh, CQC and, and show you it in action I'll, I, I might put some commentary over that as well I'll see how it goes while I'm actually flying. I might just talk about what I'm doing. But in general, I suppose you just gotta look at my hand and see what happens to the ship. Space to track with it. Space bar, space bar, space bar. C button. Space bar and backwards to rotate around him. Pip changing. C backwards. Space up. Pips. Backwards and space to keep rotating, keep rotating, keep rotating. Spa uh, and crouching. So all of those movements I just did. I'm, oh, I'm sorry to keep telling you what I'm doing, but it's to explain to you how I rotate around him and keeping him in my sights at the same time. So I've got some guys behind me. I'm going to... Space and backwards to rotate. Give it a boost. C 
see him backwards. Space him backwards. C. C. Space to go back up. I'm under attack. Pips the shields. He's down. But I died as well. Well, keep going. C to just rotate behind him. Space to stop. Keep spacing, keep spacing. I don't want to rotate towards him. I just want to go up. C to rotate behind him, but keep him in my view. There we go. Easy enough. Space bar and backwards. A boost. We're allowed. Yeah, there we go. C to stay behind him, keep him in my sights. Space bar to stop. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I have um Okay, this is me dead. Okay, I forgot to mention that I've got chaff on the V button. So all I have to do is press V to chaff, which is easy enough. So as you can see, that vertical movement is absolute key. Space and backwards to rotate, but keep moving vertically as well. If we're allowed, we'll boost. It's moving away from us pretty quickly. But we're intercepting, all right. Pips the weapons. Ram him. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of them. That's me down. That's me. I'm not going to survive this. I don't have them in sight. and But my movement, my vertical movement is keeping them from killing me straight away. Chaff. I, I, I thought of my chaff too late there. Oh, that's my bad. I keep moving vertical, even if you don't see it. Okay, this is me down, though. Yeah. I have three of them around me, I believe. <laughs> Space bar to stay with him. C to go around the asteroid. C around, C around, keep him in sights. Boost with him. Let my weapons charge up. Oh, space. That was my bad. I might have a problem now. I got him. Alright, now let's try and hide. So, this is where FPS becomes handy as well. I would love to be able to look around at this point, though. As you can see, these temporary movement, like, if I had throttle, that would be an issue now. Space bar to stay with him, to go up. There we go, he's down. Need to get out of here. Space bar, space bar, space bar. Just to hide. Space bar to go down. There it is. I heard him fly by. That's not him. So he has shield. I do not. I forgot to use my chaff. Oh, that's me down. Keeping my sights on him, using C to rotate with him. Chaff. So I can keep firing. He's down. Is he? 8%. Under attack. There he goes. And unfortunately we lost.
I do think I did a good job. Let's see at the uh, the kill death. I think it's about balanced, probably. 10 kills, 6 deaths. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, with that, I'm going to conclude this video. So leave your comments uh, below. Let me know what you think. I'm still convinced keyboard and mouse beats any joystick in this game. But uh, I'm curious to your thoughts, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Just try and remember when you comment in the video, there's no need to get angry at each other. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, so I, uh, I expect you all to respect that. And uh, with that said, have a great day.